Hi everyone, this is the gas walkthrough for March 5th. This puzzle is called Bug Like an Angel, and it's by Bill Murphy. It is a killer Sudoku, which we've done a lot of before. But as a reminder, normal Sudoku rules, 1 to 9 in each row, column, and 3x3 three three box. Additionally, we have some cages in the grid. In this particular puzzle, all of the cages are two cells. And the digits in the cells must sum to the digit, or to the total rather, given in the top left corner. And those are the rules. And we're going to start with our most restricted cages, which for two cells are three, which has to be one, two, four has to be one, three. And then on the other end, 17 has to be eight and nine, and 16 has to be seven and nine. Now, starting from this 1, 2, we're going to look down at the 7. The 7 has three options normally, but we can't use 1 or 2 now because they're already taken in the column. So the only option that works is 3, 4. And we can continue this with the 11. Now we can't use 2, 3, or 4 as our low digit, so we have to use 5 with 6. And then finally, the 8 down here. Well, we've already used 1 through 6 in the column, and this can't be 8 or 9, so it has to be 7 with a 1. The 5 now can't contain 1, so it can only be 2 and 3. The 9 can't contain 1, 2, or 3, so it has to be 4, 5. And we're going to do something similar starting from the bottom right, just on high digits. So 13 now, its high digit can't be 9 or 8. So it has to be 7 and 6. And then 9 now can't use 6, 7, or 8. It must be 4, 5. The 12 can't use 4 through 9. And 1 and 2 are too small. 2 would require a 10, 1 would require an 11. So this has to be 3 with a 9. Now 15 without a 9 can only be 7, 8. And 11 without 7, 8, or 9 can only be 5 or six, five and 6, rather. All right. Is there any cleanup that we can do just from these? I don't think there is. Um, so let's look at the other cages. Um, starting with this 5. 5 can be 1, 4, or 2, 3. But 2 and 3 are both already in this box. So this cannot be 2 or 3. It has to be 1 or 4. And this can't be 1, so the order has to be 4, 1, like this. That 1 gives us 3 and 1 here. The 15 is the same. We can't do 7, 8 again. We have a 9 here, so this has to be 9, 6. And that 9 gives 7 and 9. Now the 7 without 1 or 3 has to be 2, 5. It can't be 1, 6. It can't be 3, 4. And now we know the 5 in this box is in the 7 cage, so it is not there. The 4 looks over here to give us 3 and 4. The 13 can't be 4, 9, or 6, 7, so it has to be 5, 8. Again, the 5 in the box tells us that this is not 5, so it's 6 and 5. The 6 looks over here for 7 and 6. All right, this 8. Can't be 1, 7. It could be 2, oops, 2 and 6 in this order. There's a 6 here. It could be 3 and 5 in this order. There's a 5 here. And notice now we have a 5, 6 pair and a 2, 3 pair. The 12 is going to be similar. Can't be 9. It could be 4, 8 in this order. And it could be 5, 7 in this order because of the 4 and 5 here. And again, we have some pairs in the column. All right, is there anything we're missing? Yes. So 5, 8 here. 5 is in this 13 cage. It's looking up to make this 6, 5 in this order. And now this is going to resolve our 8 cage. And that resolves our 5 cage down here. Same thing here, 2, 5, looking down at this. This must be 4, 5. That makes this 4 and 8, and 7 and 8. 
the 8 makes this 9 and 8, and this 2 makes this 1 and 2. And we're making use of the symmetry in the puzzle just to keep track of what we haven't done yet. As soon as I saw this 8 disambiguing the 17, I knew there must be a 2 disambiguing the 3 cage. Um, you can't rely on that if you don't know the puzzle is symmetric, but this one is, and I've solved it before and I remembered that, so that's helpful. Um, this row needs a 4 and a 1. There's a 1 here. This row needs 6 and 9. This has to be our 9, so that 9. Now this column needs 8 and 9, and the 9 can't go down there. And this needs 2 and 1. All right, this row needs 2, 6, and 7. And I don't think that is disambiguated. We have a little chocolate teapot there. This row needs 3, 4, and 8. And this is going to be similar. 3, 8, 3, 4, and 4, 8. Uh, we still need a 7 in these cells. Well, let's do this. Um, we need 7 and 8 in this column. So this has to be our 7. And this is 8 because of this 8 here. And that's going to resolve our chocolate teapots. So seven here also, two, six, and seven. This column is going to be two and three, has to be in that order. And now in our corner boxes, we're only missing one digit. So we're missing five here, we're missing seven here, three and five. Now these digits are one, two, and seven. And we have one and seven here, so this is our two. Here we need 3, 8, and 9. We have 3, 9 here. At the top we need 1, 4, and 6. We have a 1, 6 looking up. And here we need 4, 6, and 9. We have 4 and 6 here. And we have a 4 here. And now the 6 is going to look up and resolve the 1, 6. Here we need 7 and 8, we have a 7, so 8 and 7, that gives us 8 and 5, if I can type the right digit. These are 2 and 3, we have a 3 here, so 2, 3, 2, 5. The 7 here gives us 1 and 7, the 3 gives us 9 and 3, and to finish off we need 1, 5, and 9. And that is how you solve Bug Like an Angel.